For its grimy ties to China and anti-fossil fuels activism, BlackRock has been blacklisted by the state of West Virginia. My next guest, State Treasurer Riley Moore, just announced that the Board of Treasury Investments, which manages just $8 billion, would not be investing in BlackRock. Treasurer Moore noting that even George Soros has said BlackRock's China investments are a tragic mistake that could potentially damage our national security. Wow. Riley Moore, West Virginia State Treasurer, joins me now. Uh, Mr. Moore, good to see you tonight. Now, why aren't more states doing things like this? I mean, there was a big move to divest from South Africa, uh, the apartheid South Africa in the 1980s. Where's the move to decouple and divest from China? Well, Laura, thank you so much for having me on to speak to you and your audience about this important issue. Um, you know, what we're doing here is we're divesting from BlackRock because they're divesting from us. And here in West Virginia, you know, we are an energy state. We produce coal and gas, and that is what BlackRock is diametrically opposed to. And we're not going to do business with people that don't want to do business with us. We're not going to pay BlackRock to destroy our industry. Secondarily, BlackRock is doing tons of business in China. China is currently building 55 brand new coal-fired power plants. So coal is okay in China, but not in America. I think that's absolutely wrong. We need to put America now, first. You, and I'm, and I'm going to stand up and I'm going to fight say, for it. I applaud your efforts to play devil's advocate here. What do you say to people who say, well, this is, this is the role of the government. The federal government should have the same restrictions on business in China as they had in business in the Soviet Union. So business is there to make money, so you can't blame them. They're there to make money and, you know, big deal. What's your answer to that? My answer to that is, Laura, I'm a market participant. I'm a market participant in this, and what I am doing is stating my preferences here in the state and who we want to do business with. If they're not going to comply and meet our standards in terms of our energy industry here in West Virginia, then they can go do business elsewhere. And I will say there are other states that are standing up right now. Listen, in November, I led a 15 state coalition where we put together a letter to all the big banks here in America and said, if you're going to divest from the fossil fuel industry, you're no longer going to do business with our states. That's $600 billion assets wow. under management collectively. So the states in this country we are coming together, Republican states are coming together, particularly state treasurers, to push back against this woke agenda. But this should all be bipartisan. I mean, where are all the woke lefties who uh, forever, you know, trash the United States on human rights issues, and you have huge human rights issues in China, and like, we need their help. I mean, some of them are, I think, with you, but this should be a bipartisan deal. By the way, it's not just the banks, because Michael Bloomberg had a comment, I think this was just last week or last month or a couple of couple weeks ago, uh, reported that JP Morgan in August took full control of a securities joint venture with the Chinese company. Morgan Stanley is seeking five new banking licenses in mainland China in 2022, while Goldman has been doubling its workforce. Citigroup applied in December for securities trading investment banking permits, et cetera, et cetera. So you see the writing on the wall. That's Bloomberg reporting. Um, the banks are going where the money is and the deals are, and for them, the deals are with the CCP and China. Well, where they need to be going is where America is going. And those banks that you just mentioned, many have put out these policy frameworks where they're talking about outright prohibitions to coal and gas and oil in this country. It's absolute insanity. And where's the left on this? They're silent. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. China is using slave labor over there to produce goods that they're selling back to us. I mean, this is just crazy. We need a realignment here. The U.S. economy and the Chinese economy are decoupling. The sad fact is, though, the Chinese economy is decoupling from us faster than we are them. We have to Tre get this yeah. under control. Treasure Bring more. the jobs home. Yeah, yeah, Treasure Moore, uh, it's inspiring. Thank you for doing what you're doing, and I hope more follow. And still ahead, Nick Saban's big fumble, the last bite, explains.